Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Charlotte Senna kidnapping case. Craig Ross, the suspect, arrested for kidnapping nine-year-old Charlotte. Took her from Moreau Lake State Park last Saturday evening. Took her then to his mom's property about 20 miles to the south. That's on Barrett Road. And authorities days later rescued little Charlotte from a camper van trailer type of uh, housing structure in back of the home of Craig Ross's mom. Well, who is Craig Ross? Who is this guy, Craig Ross? Well, there's new reports coming out saying that Craig Ross had a domestic violence incident back in 2017 with his former girlfriend. Yeah, I got a report here. It's from the Daily Mail. Charlotte Sinas suspected, Sinas suspected kidnapper Craig Ross was previously arrested for trying to strangle his girlfriend in Corinth in New York. Craig Ross was previously arrested for strangling his girlfriend near uh, she was basically almost unconscious. What? What? He grabbed her by the neck and threw her across the room of the property they shared in Corinth in April of 2017. And then it says, the records reveal Ross's apparent history of violence with cops fearing he would seriously harm nine-year-old Charlotte. Maybe that's why they acted really fast on rescuing Charlotte because they know this guy is a hothead because of his violent criminal past. Yeah, DV, if you have a history of DV, you're considered a violent person. Well, let's get, let's read a little bit more details. Court documents from April 21st, 2017 incident detail how the woman who Daily Mail has declined to uh, identify, which is good, don't want to actually put the victims out there, um, name out there when it comes to females being abused by men. We say no to all forms of violence like that. Um, she escaped Ross's clutches by twisting and turning before he threw her glasses at her in a fit of rage outside their $127,000 property. Ross ultimately pled guilty to second degree harassment in the case after initially being charged with criminal obstruction uh, of breathing or blood circulation. So who was the prosecutor? Why did they, why did he end up making a plea bargain for a lesser charge? Um, that DV, if he would have had a more serious uh, conviction on that, maybe it would have prevented him from doing this crime with um, Charlotte. Or do you think it doesn't matter at all? But it paints a picture on who this Craig Ross guy is. Uh, we heard about a DWI incident back in 1990s, in the 90s, the late 90s. We also heard uh, about a uh, apparent attempted kidnapping right by his parents, his mom's trailer on Barrett Road. Another uh, lady named Carol Brown is claiming that a few months before Charlotte was kidnapped, uh, Craig was like over top of her, her grandson at the property there on Barrett Road. And she felt like Craig was going to snatch the grandson. Like, is was he just, you know, plotting on uh, 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 children? Heard another case about uh, an alleged SA, and you know the words SA, of a 12-year-old relative of his. Um, but then he denied the allegations and he was never charged. I mean, what about if he was charged about that? Maybe Charlotte would not have been, um, you know, taken. But it's would have, could have. But I think that it's we can agree that it seems like Mr. Ross has slipped through the cracks and was able to, uh, uh, you know, avoid serious accountability for his prior actions. It's it's a sad situation, but it looks like he's caught. Looks like he's going to pay the price now. I suspect a life sentence out of what he did to Charlotte. Uh, the kidnapping, the terror, you know, the terrorism of the community, the resources looking, just I can't imagine what 
Charlotte is going through, her friends, her family, her parents, her parents. And, you know, to me, Mr. Ross should spend the rest of his life behind bars. What do you think the penalty should be? Covering this case extensively. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button, and check out my Charlotte's playlist. This case is uh, it's a sad situation. I was up there at the park. I cannot believe that a total stranger snatches up an innocent child from a park, from a campground, a place where you go with your family to enjoy the great outdoors. Sad situation. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.